My name is Jason, and this is Just Watches. Okay, today we have a watch from Hemmel, which was very generously lent into the channel by a friend. This is my first experience from the brand, and also my first experience with a watch that's powered by the Siegel ST19. So I'm pretty excited to check out both. However, before we get to the review, if you're enjoying the content of this channel, I invite you to subscribe. And if you're enjoying the content of this individual video, please give it a thumbs up. So price and availability, this particular model is currently sold out on Hemmel's website, but they have a number of other chronographs available. The MSRP on this watch is $4.99. So starting with the case, it's 40 millimeters in diameter, 47 millimeters lug to lug, it's 13 and a half millimeters thick, and then has a 20 millimeter lug with opening. The total weight is 86 grams. Now the case is entirely high polish. There is a chamfered edge along the edge of the lugs, which has a nice curve down to them. I actually like the contrast of the high polished case with the black of the dial and ceramic bezel insert. The watch is tall at 13.5 millimeters, but the bezel serves to break up the height when viewing it from the side, and I don't find that it wears overly big. Additionally, most mechanical chronographs are often thicker watches. The stock genuine leather strap starts at 20 millimeters before tapering down to 18 millimeters. The color pairs nicely with the watch and the stitching matches the color of the lumen indices. The strap is thick and feels very robust. The pin and collar is also signed twice with Hemmel, which is a nice little detail. It also features quick release pins for easy strap changes. The screw-in exhibition case back helps provide 100 meters of water resistance and utilizes a sapphire crystal. Details of the watch are deeply etched around the case back and the window gives a wonderful view of the ST19 movement. So I've wanted to get my hands on an ST19 movement for a long time, and I will say it is a really nice movement to look at. While the finishing is fairly basic, the combination of the blue screws, purple jewels, and the chronograph mechanism, including the column wheel, is just mesmerizing to look at. This is a 21,600 vibration per hour, handwind only watch with the 40 hour power reserve. It doesn't hack, but with the small second sub-register for the running time, that doesn't bother me that much. Operation is snappy and a pleasure to use. The top pusher starts and stops the chronograph, while the bottom pusher resets. I have heard mixed reviews about these movements, but Hemmel does have a 24 month warranty, so if you do have a mechanical problem, they would have you covered. The 6mm push-pull crown is nicely signed with an embossed background and a high polish H. It is also knurled. It's also my main complaint about this watch. Since this is a hand wind only watch, you will spend quite a bit of time winding it. However, due to its thin profile and the fact that it is closely flanked by the chronograph pushers, it can be a little tricky to wind. I would love to see a slightly bigger crown with a wider profile to make the watch easier and more pleasurable to wind as it's something you're going to have to be doing basically every other day. The double domed sapphire crystal is treated with anti-reflective coating, which will make it much easier to read the dial. The crystal doesn't protrude much above the bezel, however, so the dome isn't super noticeable. I would prefer if it did, because I think it would give the watch more character, but obviously that's a personal preference, and with this watch already being quite thick, I think it was actually the right choice. The 120 click unidirectional bezel has a very beautiful finish around the edge with very clean diamond shapes cut in to provide grip. The action is nice and clicky, but will settle back about one click when you stop turning it. You will get used to the this fairly quickly and everything still lines up nicely. The insert is ceramic and has markings for each hour with a triangle at 12 and then 15, 30, and 45 for those respective positions in Arabic numerals. The bezel insert is slightly superfluous on a chronograph since you can time things with that function, but I also like to time things with the bezel. Now Hemmel makes other versions of this watch with the 12 hour insert and that I think is the perfect combination. Then you can use the chronograph to time things and the bezel to track a second time zone. Either way, the bezel insert is nice and the markings match the loop used on the rest of the dial perfectly, which I'm sure wasn't easy to do. Also, all of these markings are loomed, which you will see in the loom shot. The dial is a bi-compact style with a tachometer around the edge. There are also marks for each of the minutes that are further subdivided. Arabic numerals are used for the hours with a 30 minute subregister for the chronograph at 3, the running second subregister at 9, and then Hemmel is printed at 12 with Air League, the name of the watch, and chronograph at the 6. The dial is all nicely laid out and the contrast of the white and patina loom against the matte black of the dial makes this watch extremely legible. The hour and minute hands are syringe style, filled with loom and edge with white. The chronograph central seconds hand is long and white and has a loomed arrow at the tip and a counterbalance at the tail. The running seconds hand is a white leaf and the chronograph minute hand is a white arrow. All of these hands are super legible as the white stands out great against the dial. 
as you can see on the time grapher, this watch is keeping excellent time. Plus four seconds a day with the dial up with a really, really high amplitude and minimal beat error. And with the crown up getting plus three seconds a day. Really accurate watch. I'm not sure if they regulate these. I know this version of the ST19 has that swan neck regulator, which is supposed to let you dial in the accuracy very well. And it appears they either did so or we got extremely lucky on this watch. And as you can see, the loom on this watch is great. It's keeping pace with the Seiko Monster here. And they even loomed those little sub register hands and the bezel. It's really nice to see every Everything loomed up like that. And here is the watch, my six and three quarters inch wrist. This 40 millimeter case is a great size. 47 millimeter lugs don't overhang. And then as you can see, it is quite tall, but I don't think it wears overly large and it does hug the wrist quite nicely. So pros and cons, starting with the pros. Well, this watch has a ton going for it spec-wise, and I think is very nicely laid out and a pleasure to look at. With the ceramic bezel and sapphire crystal, the watch is going to look great for a long time. Also, 100 meters of water resistance is really nice in a mechanical chronograph and something you don't often see. As for cons, I would like to see a slightly larger crown, both in diameter and in profile, which would make this watch a lot nicer to wind. Second, while I actually do enjoy the high polish finish on all of the case, perhaps some use of mixed surfaces on the case would have been welcome. As for comparables, there are quite a few watches that use the Siegel ST19 movement that also occupy this price point. The Laurier Gemini is also $499, and then for a quite a bit more, you can get the Baltic by Compact 001. Alternatively, for cheaper, you could pick up a watch with this movement from one of the Chinese brands for around $200. However, I think if you had a mechanical problem with one of those, it would be a huge hassle to get repaired. I think what you're paying here is for the warranty and the ease of getting the watch fixed if there's any problem with it. So there you have it, the Hemel Air League. What do you guys think about this watch? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, if you're enjoying the contents of this channel, I invite you to subscribe. And if you like the contents of this individual video, please give it a thumbs up. That's all for this time. My name is Jason, and you have been watching Just Watches.